This is a video of the prep for the uh, for teaching the first lesson of Bootstrap Algebra for fall of 2020. So I'm recording all of the prep to uh, hopefully help other people prep their own teach through of um, this great material. So courses algebra. <clears throat> So I prototyped a couple of these things of how I want to want to go through it, and the first thing I want to do is open the lesson slides, make my own version. Just want to copy. Nope, don't want that. I want to copy. And I'm going to rename just so they all order the way I want them to. Uh, zero one. And. Our folder. Go on and kill that one. I'm going to go on and close this. And the way I decided to do this, I want to be able to 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 um, Alt Tab during the presentation um, among three things. One is this materials thing. Um, I, I don't think there's any reason to hide from the learner um, this you know, curriculum plan. Um, I want to create learners that actually understand how they're being taught. So um, for a review, um, uh, for materials, I'm not going to make some other document that has links. I'm just going to use um, and then ask them at the learners to use this um, page. So we'll be able to flip between that and the presentation. Oh, nope. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, good. All right, close that. And then I think it will work when this is in full screen. All right, that's in full screen. That bottom bar should go away. Good. And now if I Alt-Tab, I can get to that. I also want to be able to Alt-Tab to WeScheme in Firefox. Good. So we'll be in full screen. If we need we scheme, if we need Yep, that's gonna be good. All right. All right, now um the slides are provided by um uh I forgot what these guys are called. Pair, slide, pair, something. Pair deck, um, uh, which is great if you uh, are doing a synchronous class. It's, uh, then uh, I, I think they have some some great tools. Um, as far as I can tell, everything on the We Scheme site is covered by um, an open license, so there's no problem with with taking off uh, this uh, overlay. Because I'm doing asynchronous teaching, and um, they can't get any of the benefits from actually using a Pear Deck. But if you have students um, that are watching while you're teaching, then you can uh, ask questions, and uh, they, they actually go through these are live. It makes the it makes a a deck live, and they can um, do responses. They get tallied right away, and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, but it's not something I need. And so um, I've been through these slides once quickly. I've taught this material before, so I'm planning to spend about 30 minutes uh, making sure everything's set up the way I want it and um, that all the links are correct. Um, I did notice in my first go through, I actually was looking at the spring 2020. Um, so some stuff didn't match up. 
um, between the page numbers on here and the page numbers of the PDF. So we'll just see. Um, but materials, Ninja Cat, page, page. So those are the materials we're going to use. All right, let's make sure we can play Ninja Cat. I'm not going to go over how to log in to um, your Google account. We'll leave that outside for the, um, the helper of the learner to set up. There's Ninja Cat. Get a ruby and not get killed, and then we get killed. Good. Um, if you haven't read about the notice and wonder terminology that's being used here, then um, there's some good explanation of that. Um, of, of using that language, of uh, asking students to, to do that. And again, since I'm asynchronous, I'll, I'll try to remember to use that terminology as they ask them to fill in um, sheets. All right, on page two of your workbook, and like I said, I'm just going to direct them to this page, uh, to the materials, and let's open that up. So, um, you know, they can print this out. They can turn this into a Google Doc, however, or just write it in a notebook, however they want to. Um, so, what do you notice? What do you wonder about the game we just saw? How is that any different from that? Okay, I guess that's just a slide for to remind the instruction. I'm big on not really having to remember a bunch of stuff, and, and I don't have two monitors right now, so um, I'm not going to be able to look at slides. So I really like this of having a slide that says, okay, now do the thing. Page two we just looked at. I believe that note is here impossible misconceptions. Um, also planning on after going through the slides, um, actually using this page for uh, the review with the students. And if I do happen to miss anything like that um, discussion during the uh, walkthrough of the slides, then I'm fine with bringing it up here. Um, again, I want to show two students how they are being taught and um, give them some responsibility for um, for learning and, and understanding how they're being taught. Yeah, and I think I'll remember to, to talk about what is being changed and what changes as opposed to what they're doing. And, and this is great language, you know, not the dog is moving left, but that the position of the dog is changing. Because we want to start thinking about coordinate axis is going to be in the next um, lesson. Good. And then if, if, if I don't remember to say it here, then, then this first thing will definitely prompt me to say it. And then this discussion here. All right, I think we have an exercise going over these questions. Right, with your, and, and, you know, I'm really encouraging people to do this in, um, with a partner. Um, so mom or dad or big brother or little brother or little sister or just somebody else in the, in the house. So um, I'm marking 
the, these as um, you do and to do. So you do will be the things that, that will stop the video. I'll stop the video and have the learner try to do real time. And then I just want that over just a little bit. And then um, to do will be things that they should do offline before the next lesson. So those are those questions. And then um, no, let's do you do here. here. This will be homework. All right, that's the last thing. Did we use all of the materials? I don't remember opening that. All right, so let's see. We did talk about Notice and Wonder, but when did we open page three? Page two, then you notice about this game, everything you wonder. Page two. Ah, this, so this is one of those disconnects. This should be page three. I don't know what that means. First, list each thing you saw. Oh, where's here? Good. That was a little reminder. First, list each thing you saw. What changes about it? Second. Third. Specifically, is changing. Okay. This is going to be a you do I have to make these a little smaller maybe I don't know yeah that's not good Come on, Google, let me in. Can't get in can't get inside that box. Okay. Control A. Let's take this down a little. Let's take it down a little more. That's good. I'm not too worried about all these looking super great. All right, so this is going to have them stop and do these things on page three then talk about some of those things and go back in and fix it. And then this is part of homework. So we'll have homework for next time. Homework for next time is research. And again, Let 
I'm using the arrows to move that around a little bit. I don't need to save that. All right, so that will be you know a stop. Just move something around. There's page three, you do. I'll talk about it after they come back. So I'll say pause, go to page three, which I will show. Explain. Changes. All right, and then we'll come back from pausing and talk about some of the things that they just did. Then we'll talk about I'm going to have them talk to that, talk to their partner about that. And then say, before next time, research those things. So I want to make that just you know clearly an asynchronous part, that we're not coming back to much after this video so we can wrap up. Yeah, they can... Talk about that. And then instead of having a wrap up slide, I'm just going to go back to here and look at the goals. Did you feel like you did that? Or that you can do those things? We played the game, we looked at Notice and Wonder, we looked at, uh, here it's got the correct, oh, on this page I had the correct number, it was in the slide I had to change, right? And just re-emphasize this possible concept, uh, misconception. Um, provide some encouragement about creating games and you know if they think they you know, you know know Hamilton think about how the difference between trying to get started writing a song and what goes into making a huge production that's the same thing that happens in video games and we have lots of teams and lots of jobs um, so provide some encouragement there apparently there's a 3d Ninja Cat. All right, and then that yeah, and then I think that's going to be it. Um, as a review, so um, there's a lot of things of, of setup setup um, to get ready for this first one. Um, if you don't already have a Google account, to to make sure you can can sign in to um, We Scheme. Uh, but I think that's a, a good starting place for the first. Lesson.